charge backpack. Johnny oh, Depp's genius sisters use him like a lab rat. Johnny Depp oh, need free dad at home, a super busy mom. Johnny oh, Depp, yeah. the boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game control, skating in the park. A feral booster, bling bling. What do we make of this? What do we make of this? John. Johnny Test. What do we think of this? Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a laugh of a boy named Johnny Test. Isn't it wonderful being princesses like us? We can do so many things, like ride horses in the forest. And we can also fight! Princesses don't fight, Test. Then I don't want to play princess. Hey, I'm paying you, remember? Yeah, well, I want to race. Fine! Now let's put on our super frilly flowy princess ball gowns. <laughs> what you doing? I'm making a frilly flowing dress. Cool. Does it make you invisible or something? Nope. Uh, does it make you super strong? No. It makes you look pretty. I thought it might be fun for us to put down the DNA in atomic nuclei and make something like normal girls. Be like normal girls. And now it's time to practice dancing for the big ball tonight. Oh, I love dancing. Slam dancing! Knock it off! Why can't princesses be tough and have jetpacks and shoot lasers out of their dresses? Cause it's not very ladylike. Well, neither am I, sister, and you can have your 250 back, cause I'm gone. You did the right thing. There is no way I'm playing pretty princess anymore. Johnny, we need you to play a pretty princess. The future of corn dogs may depend on it. <laughs> Doggy like corn dog. <laughs> the young Princess Maribel from Moldavia disappeared this morning. Right before she was to present a treaty to the UNN Council with Schmaldavia, their aggressive neighbors to the north. And her disappearance could raise suspicion and cause a break in the treaty they just signed. I have no idea what you're talking about, and why do you need me? Because this is Princess Maribel. <laughs> Both countries lay claim to this region called the Cornmeal Fields. So? So, the Schmoldavians are led by the crazy king Fulfossil, whose constitution forbids the consumption of corn dogs. If he gets control of this land, there could be a global corn dog catastrophe. We can't have a world without corn dogs. And if the princess doesn't show up to shake hands with this dork tonight, it could mean war and the end of the corn dog as we know it. Johnny, you have to put on the dress and stop this war. No, I am not putting on a dress. You just have to pretend to be the princess until we can find the real one. And you'll be living the royal life in the princess suite at the Pork Belly Park Hotel. Your own giant HDTVs, a personal chef to prepare your food anytime you want it, and your very own pool with water slide. We found, found the princess! <laughs> Your Highness, where have you been? In the can! And check out this sweet! Uh, we found her in a damp cave. Uh, <clears throat> uh, throat problems. Okay, and now we're off to get the real princess. Ham! He meant to say we're off to get a ham! You know, it's kind of fun working with beads and not plutonium. Yeah! I like being a normal girl. Wait, what's that? Nothing? Uh, the polyester? No, it's a liquid crystal microwave that will make the dress and whoever wears it invisible. I couldn't help myself. I'm a test girl, not a normal girl. Come on, we can do this. We can be normal. Fine, get me some cotton. I want a dog. Give me a dog. I'm the princess and I command it. Um. Hey, how about this dog? Okay, so me and my new dog are gonna chillax by the pool. 
We must first prepare the royal dog for its official royalness, and the princess must attend to her duties at one o'clock. You must bestow knighthood on our most honored citizens. A little too hard, your highness. Two o'clock, study the laws of Moldavia. And we willeth, maketh, corn doggeth, awesome myth. Three o'clock, shoot the royal commercial. Hey, being a pretty princess is hard. That's why I start every morning off right with a box of princess flakes. <laughs> Cut! Four o'clock, you must kiss the royal... Okay, stop. The princess is a little tired and I want to party in the pool and where's my dog? I present to you the royal mutt. Can I borrow the royal cell phone? Ooh, diamonds. Ah! Now we're getting out of here. Yellow. I'm done being Princess Johnny, and where's the real princess? Yeah, we still can't find her, but we're looking as hard as we can. You sound funny. Oh, uh, but we're in a spooky, echoey cave now. Ooh, it's spooky. But just the place some princess nappers might. Johnny! <laughs> Did we tell you about the unlimited access to the Royal Spa? Oh, you weren't even looking for the princess? Oh, we looked. We just couldn't find it. A little more pressure on the back. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. The treaty presentation is now. And you'll be wearing this. I despise princess gowns. Hank Anchorman here reporting on the historic treaty and the historic handshake between Moldavian Princess Maribel and Schmoldavian King Fufasil that could stabilize the world's corn dog markets. Let's listen in. Now, all you have to do is give a speech that will build trust between Moldavia and Schmoldavia. Then shake hands with that creep. Piece of cake. I just want to say I love Schmoldavia and hate the war between our two countries. Yeah, yeah, piece of cake. I just want this over with. Yeah, I just want to say that I hate Schmoldavia and love the war between our countries. Okay, bye! Was it something I said? Um, what's he saying? Um, this means war. There will be no more corn dogs. Quick, my Schmaldavian ninja squad, destroy the princess. Ninjas. It's always ninjas. Run! Should we try it on? Well, it's kind of small for us. Oh, what about Johnny? What? Johnny would never put on a big puffy princess dress. Quick, jump in our cool spy car and let's get out of here. <laughs> Man, that ninja squad really wants to destroy the princess. But I'm not the princess. I just have to get out of this dress. Right! If you're a boy again, they won't know you're the princess. Quick, off with the royal garb. It worked! They bought that I'm not a princess. Princess! Run. Right. Ah! Ah! I can't get the dress off! Do something! Hang on. Hey, what's that? I confess, I made a few adjustments to the dress. Yeah, me too. I'm proud to be a not normal girl. Oh! Cool dress. <laughs> Oh, does this thing have a manual mode? The dress is all yours. Johnny liked being pretty princess. Wow! I guess princesses can kick butt. What do you say we 
shake hands and keep corn dogs alive, huh, buddy? The princess demands it! Wow, that newspaper came out quick. But we still don't know what happened to the real princess. Does the Park Hotel have an arcade? Princess, princess Mirabelle? Sorry. I was just trying to be a normal kid. I am very disappointed in you. You have lots of official work and... Don't you mean you're gonna change her schedule so she has two hours of goof-off time a day? Uh, yes. Yes! Well, thanks. I'm Princess Maribel, and you are... Princess Johnny. You mean Sir Johnny. <laughs> um, still too hard, Your Highness. For you, Dad. It's from your principal. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. As I'm saying, it's a minimum. 98 detentions? Nope. Throwing food, putting oil on toilet seats, and misuse of a dissected frog? Is this true? No. I also tripped an eighth grader, but he had it coming. You leave me no choice, son. One more detention. One more! And I'll have to ship you off to the Old Hickory Military Academy for wild boys! Old Hickory. It's more than a school. It's a prison? Excuse me for a second. Can't get in trouble. Can't get in trouble. No old trouble -o. Are you sure this is a good idea? The balloons were already full, and we can't waste water, right? <laughs> <laughs> he had it coming. You know he did. Johnny, here's what I'm thinking. Please don't give me a detention. My dad will send me to military school. That means uniforms, atomic wedgies. Awkward pauses! I like you, Johnny. So I'm free to go? No, but I'm gonna cut you a deal. If you perform 99 good deeds to make up for your 99 bad deeds, I'll forget every one of your detentions and erase them from your permanent record. Couldn't I just write something on the chalkboard a zillion times instead, like, I promise not to blah 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 blah? Huh? <sighs> 99 good deeds it is. And no cheating. Remember, I'm the principal. I know everything. We need to do 99 good deeds. Then I'm off the hook. <laughs> then let's start good deeding. I'm falling and I can't get up. I got nothing. Me neither. To the lab! Need any help? Because I'm here to help by doing good deeds, not bad, and helping with deeds. Anything? Nope. So much for that idea. What's that? Our latest school project, the Food Duplicator, which is supposed to clone food, enlarge it, and feed the world. But the steaks taste like wood, the eggs are blue, and the cupcakes... <laughs> I think you used too much barf. Help me! I have to do 99 good deeds or I'm off the military school. Well, there's lots of stuff you can do to help, Johnny. Volunteer at the animal shelter, read books at retirement homes, help feed the homeless. Susan, how much beef did you stroking up in the food duplicator? Huh? Look, an old lady needs help. Good day, Johnny! Away! Hello, ma'am. May I assist you? Oh, I get it. I'm an old lady, is that it? Well, I'm also independent. Lonely, but independent. Back off! Hmm, yeah, you forgot crazy! I told you, Johnny, the principal was everywhere, and that did not count as a good deed. It wasn't even close. Good deed, Johnny, we'll pick up the trash. I can, it's mine. Back off. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I can do to help. You do? <laughs> Here you go, citizen. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, it didn't count. Okay, none down, 99 to go. You are not helping. But I think I have some friends who can. Sure, you can walk some dogs. That'd be a big help. In fact, you can walk Fluffy, Sweetie, and Muffin. Hmm? 
<laughs> you guys are gonna be the easiest three good deeds of the day. Yeah, that's not them. They're over there. No, Johnny! I was just finalizing your schedule at Old Hickory. Hey, did you want push-ups or pull-ups with your 4 a.m. wake-up call? <laughs> Not so fast, Daddy-O. I'm on a good deed roll. Not really. You knocked over garbage cans, Fluffy wrecked two cars, Sweetie defaced a tree, and Muffin defaced a mailman. Are you saying those bad deeds crossed out my good deeds? Yes, but don't give up now. I'm rooting for you. Principal out. <laughs> Try the nursing home. OK, that was creepy, but let's read to some old folks. And with the adventure done, the retired ninja put on his dentures and napped. The end. The food here stinks. You only read the last sentence. Ah, uh, the rest is just plot and details. Hey, I showed up. That's more than you can say for their grandkids. OK, I'll allow it. Awesome! We're on a roll. How many more good deeds do I have left? Well, that was one, so, um, 98. Air. You okay? Yeah, thanks for the help. Help? Hey, that's good deed number two. Hey, you're right. That's it. All you have to do is some bad deeds to people, then I come in and fix them with good deeds. It's deed horrific. No, it's horrible. Do you really want me to go to military school? Do you? Can't have spaghetti without sauce. I need good deeds, not pasta. Dookie, let's get to work. Just tell us how it tastes. <laughs> like tomato barf with barf sauce. Good deed, Johnny, and bad deed, Dookie, away! <laughs> Oh, thanks for helping me, son. Ninety-seven. 98, 99! Johnny, you did it! Yes, I did it! Did you hear that, Principal? Hello? Hmm? He's never around when you need him. Looking for this? Um, no. Just one more detention, and this extra stiff wool uniform is yours. They say the sweating, itching, and crying builds character. Better hold on to the receipt, Dad, because I got a meeting with the Principal, and I'm staying. What do you mean none of my good deeds count? Solving a problem that you create is not a good deed. Returning the wallet was a good deed, but your dog swiped it. And giving someone their IV bag back is nice, but your dog shouldn't have taken it in the first place. Um, how did you know it was my dog? I know everything. Plus, I have access to the city's traffic surveillance system. Wow, I look so guilty on camera. I'm afraid this will cost you one more detention. I'm sorry, Johnny, but I have to notify your father. No! Ow. Huh? Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this, but... Wait a minute. It's awesome! Yes, we did it! Johnny, take a bite of the cheese and tell us what you think. I think I'm off to military school in two hours, so I guess there's only one thing to do. Beg Dad for one more chance, even though this would be the 100th one more chance he's given you. Go to your room and cry? Start acting delusional? No. We're having a say goodbye to Johnny blowout, bye-bye, a Palooza Jam Fest Super Send Up Party Jam. <laughs> yep, he's going delusional. Excellent! Best meal I've had since the war, I think I was in. And I'm moving into the giant sensor bread house! Hey! But where's Johnny? Right here! Eat up, fellas! 
I've been looking to adopt a dog like this for years. Me too. <laughs> Let's go, Johnny. You're gonna be late for your buzz cut. Oh, look, they sent an artist rendering. Well, thanks for coming, everyone. But it's time for Johnny to head off to Old Hickory Military Academy. Oh. Wait, stop! According to my calculations, Johnny's party has fed the homeless, entertained the lonely, found homes for tons of stray dogs, found a way for giant food not to be wasted, and you're recycling! Oh, no. Which means Johnny's grand total of good deeds is... 98! <laughs> Phew! But, uh, oops. Here, uh, you dropped your pen. That makes 99! <laughs> Your record is cleared, you have zero detentions. And I don't have to go to military school! I was so close, so close! Don't feel bad, Dad. Have a cupcake and enjoy the party. But I don't see any cupcakes. Incoming! Doing good deeds is sweet. Yeah.